Hi, today I'm going to show you how to use this spot healing tool right here. It's um, I'm doing this in Photopea today. Um, but you're going to open up an image where somebody has some acne you want to get rid of and then just go to a uh, layer and duplicate the layers so you can see the original. So you can kind of go back and forth from that. Stay on the top layer. Zoom in. Here's your little magic wand tool. And you can push the plus so that you can zoom in. Okay, so, whoa, I went too far. So then you just minus, back up. So I don't need to be in that close. Ah, I keep doing it. All right, um, one more. Here we go. All right, so here's my spot healing tool brush. Notice how these drop down. There's stuff underneath. I'm just using the top one. So the spot healing brush tool, if yours isn't there, you double click with two fingers on your Chromebook. And that will open this up. Let me see here. Like you have to go in that little spot. See how that opens? All right. Um, or it's like a right click if you have a mouse. Anyway, you grab the spot healing tool brush. And it's the heel selection. Um, there, you can also do content aware, but that's not an option on this. Um, but as far as your regular Photoshop, you want to do content aware and you just like drag a little like you just kind of go around the blemish and then it, it takes the pixels and the skin tone around the pix the pimple. And then I'm literally just dragging and like circling the pimple with, you know, you can see what I'm doing. I'm just like holding down the mouse. I can do this dry skin right here. And it's just a matter of kind of going over everything. You could also kind of like blur out the Im an image, um, but we're just going to just show you this for today. Pretty natural and very easy. So, um, you know, you just do the whole face. So you can take this little, this little hand down here and drag around so you can kind of move around the move around his face and then go back to the um this one it looks like a band-aid with like a spot on it it's a spot healing brush and you just clean up everything it's pretty nice so obviously the more time you take the better to look I also have another trick of how to brighten um, the eyes and darken your eyelashes, but um, the this is uh, Gavin. I don't know if any of you know him. He's a former student, and I know he's confident, so I don't think he would mind that I use this little picture here to show to give a little demonstration. He is awesome. Um, so, so far, that's why I do it on the top. I have the eyeball here and I turn it off and then we can kind of compare where we were at, right? Not bad. So I would just keep going, just keep going on all the skin where I would want it to look smooth and natural. So it could be, you know, it's a process, but it's worth it. So, um, and then I was going to show you how to brighten the eyes. So if you do a duplicate layer, so go to layer and then duplicate layer. He already has pretty bright eyes and dark eyebrows. But um, so I duplicated the layer. You can see now I have three. So now I'm going to go to edit, fill. And I want to make sure the fill is on gray. And then everything's on normal. Say OK. And then you, you, it looks gray here. That's what you want. And then change this to um, soft light. Soft light or overlay. And then you go down here to your dodge tool, which is, it's in here. I have to double click. The dodge tool is, <clears throat> oops. I'm not good at double clicking on this thing either. Okay, so the dodge tool uh, is the one that brightens everything. So if I go over this and the white part of his eye, 
or anything that you want like white. I should actually make this bigger so you can kind of see like what if I just wanted to really like lighten his nose for instance like get rid of it like make it look maybe this half of his face I'm gonna like for the heck of it just dodge out. It's like in the dark room, you expose the other side more. Kind of cool how you can kind of do this. So you get the idea of what dodge does, right? So, but actually I'm gonna undo, cause I'm not, I'm just wanting to um, lighten up his eye. Step back, step back. Okay, so I just make it smaller and I'm just gonna stay within the eye and I can also zoom in if I want. So I see what I'm really doing. And I want my brush to be not too big, but to be, but when you brighten the eyes a little like this, it just makes everybody look really healthy. But you know, this guy already has super bright eyes anyway. So if somebody has really red eyes, it's a little bit tricky. You have to kind of like paint over them. So that's a little different, but if they already have like, you know, light eyes and you're just kind of brightening them, what you're really doing is changing the exposure and you're brightening the exposure. Now we're going to go in and go burn. And I'm going to go over and I'm just going to go over his eyelashes just to show you, look. So let's say you forgot to wear mascara that day. I actually do this for, for everybody kids too and it actually just makes their eyes stand out more it's not really like makeup but it it can be it's just it's kind of cool so you're now you're ex, um changing the exposure darkening the exposure for his eyes so just for the heck of it let's see what it looks like i'm going to back up all right so that's what it looks like that was before that's after it actually looks really nice, don't you think? It enhances his eyes. So I don't think that you should call it mascara like I did. Um, just, you know, you can dodge and burn in areas, making some areas lighter and some areas um, darker. So I hope you like that. Again, remember, it was a little, you had to duplicate this layer and you had to go to edit fill to get this. And then you dodge and burn on this with the um, blending mode to soft light. Now let's say we wanna crop this. We take our crop tool, and I like to tell my crop tool to be a specific size. So like, let's say I have a frame that's eight by 10. So I would put eight by 10, right? And I'm gonna now just crop it kind of how I would wanna see it in the, in the frame. Do I want shoulders in there? I just want his face. How do I want it? Probably like that. And now I'm going to save it. For this, you go File, Export as, JPEG. And then we save it. I always save it 100%. Save. And it just saved to my, um, you could say, Show in Folder. And I'll turn that in. All right, thank you.